Yeah. Whereabouts, realistically, do you think that Newcastle could finish? Well, I, I, I think the they just... The end of the season was so strong, Yeah, that's what it? I was going to say. I think they need to sort of ride that crest of a wave because the feel-good factor is back at Newcastle. The way they finish the season, there's a real... You know, the city's absolutely bouncing mm. now. And, and if you go up there cover a game, you know, the atmosphere is just phenomenal. They've got the, the war flags behind the goals and stuff. And, you know, it's a special place to play. And, 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 and you know, Eddie Howe and his staff have sort of galvanised the, the city as much as yeah. the football club, you know, and there's a real feel-good factor again. So I think... With these signings, and I would imagine there'll be a few more before before the window closes. I think you know there's a real chance they can. I'm not going to get excited here, but um, top seven, top eight. I think you know if you say anything above that, then people will. You shoot. were going to well, say six, weren't you? All right, top six. Then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't want to put pressure on Eddie Howe and stuff as well, because you know because of the money they have to spend now. You know, automatic doesn't happen overnight. But I think if they can build on what they did last season, and as I say, the feel good factor. You know, there's no reason why. If they start the season well, because you remember after 14 games, they didn't, they didn't win a game last season and, mm. and no club has ever stayed in the Premier League after that, you know. So what they did in the second half of the season was phenomenal and the signings, of course, and, you know, likes of Trippi, Dan Byrne and Gimarish, especially in, in, in mm. last January as well. Fantastic signings. Shay, you, you've obviously played up there for, for obviously 12 years, so you know the supporters better than anyone. What would they be expecting? Because I know the players are always realistic in the dressing mm-hmm. room. You're thinking, right... Top eight lads, we can we could probably do that. But yeah. what do you think the supporters are thinking? Probably won the league next season. <laughs> 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 no, it's a mad club, but a great club as well because uh, you know we used to sometimes call North East Enders because you're either going to get relegated <laughs> or, you're winning, or you're winning the league because it's it's, it's you know there's no seems no in between you know. No. But I think the realistic fans will think you know as I say top six, top eight would be would be a, you know a next stepping stone. Yeah. Um, but the best thing you can say about the, the new ownership and the, and the new managers, they've, they've got hope again. They've got dreams of yeah. challenging at the top of the league. And that's the club I joined uh, when I was 21. You know, they were just finished second in the Premier League. You know, it was a, it's a brilliant club. And, and mm. the fans have got hope and dreams again that, that you know, in the not-too-distant future, they can get back challenging. We're talking about, you know, title odds and stuff. And, and Newcastle, you'd like to think if they keep building over the years, then they can get, get in them odds. I'm lucky enough to have been uh, to St James's Park quite a lot in the last few seasons. And the difference... When you, it's so it's so obvious when that fan base are, mm. are going through something and they have for for maybe like a decade, right? And then the difference to to when that new ownership came in, the signing started getting made, and and Eddie did what he did was was so huge. Yeah. And and I obviously have quite a soft spot for Newcastle, um, so I enjoyed it up until they beat us towards the end of the season. Oh, I didn't enjoy that either. Terafinha, passed his medical, but. Oh, 12 o'clock exactly. today <laughs> the sauce puts out the window the love is <laughs> seeping away really quickly Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning 6 till 10 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport